Hello, today we are going to start clarity class. Today we will explain two topics. The first one, securities market. In this topic we will talk about what the market, what's primary market, what's security market. Then we need to understand what's difference between security markets and primary markets. Uh, in actual, when we need to understand what's in the market, we need to distinguish what are main type of the market. In beginning, what's the market? The market, it's place. In this place, you can to buy and sell the goods and service to get profit. When we are talking about the market, doesn't necessary to have a physical place. An example we can trade by online. Second point about the market doesn't necessarily to have goods and services to trade in the market like exchange rate. Also main characteristic of the market we can deal with many goods and services in the market to get the benefits from that trade. What are main type of the market? In actual, there are many type of the market, but we can divide the market to primary market and secondary market in this class. And we need to understand what is a, a good market. When we can say this market is good. That's depend on many characteristic, like a variability of past transaction. In other words, if we have historical information about the market, if the information is variable, that will help the investor to make his decision. That's mean if we have enough information in this market, then we can say this market is good. Also, liquidity. If the market, the liquidity in the market are variable, or we have a good position in liquidity, then we can say this market is good. That's mean any company has ability to repay the money at time. For that, liquidity position, it's very important to say this market is good or no. Also, we need to look for transaction cost. If we have low transaction cost, then we can say this market is good. But if we have high transaction cost, that's mean the market is not good because the transaction cost is very high. That's will reflect on the investors. The investors need low transaction cost to get the benefit from his investment. Also, when we need to say if the market is good or not, we need to look for the information. In actual, if rapid adjustment of a price information quickly and we have information, then we can say this market is good. That's mean all stock prices adjustment according to the information. If we have information, direct will evict on the price. So we need to understand now what are main differences between primary market and secondary market. In actual, primary market when the company issue stock for the first time, will issue the stocks in private placement. That's called as primary market. But secondary market related with trade in stocks, outstanding securities are bought and sold by investors. That's mean the investor can buy and sell the stocks in the market. Now we have 
stock exchange and we can trade by stock to buy to sell to get the profit from uh, purchase and sell the stock or to get the profit in end of the year for that primary market there are many characteristic of primary market and many characteristic of secondary market primary market related with private placement second primary market related with private placement this securities can be subsequently be traded among large investors in the market to demonate on an example one company two company for the first time or for just one time and in private placement uh, main advantage for primary market in actual main advantage for primary market the cost there is low cost that's mean in primary market the cost lower than in secondary market and less than public offering if the any company need to issue stock to the public the cost will be higher than if the company will issue the stock in private placement so we say we said the primary market the cost lower than secondary market but why are they so important when we need to talk about secondary market why are they so important in actual secondary market provides liquidity to investors in this market we tend to buy and sell the stock if we have a problem in the cash we can to sell the stock to get the cash for that liquidity market is, is a variable in secondary market provides liquidity to the investors also in the results in lower required returns that if the investors had low liquidity that's mean if the investor suffers from low liquidity in this case the investor can to sell some stocks to get the cash to improve the liquidity also main advantage for secondary market related with the price of stock secondary market helps to determine market price how we can to determine price of a stock based on secondary market we have many investors buy and sell the stock in this case we can to determine the stock price for new issues for that primary market and secondary market secondary market is important to provide the investors the cash to improve the liquidity position also secondary market it's important to determine the price of stocks so we have in actual many type of, uh, of the markets we can say there are bonds markets stock markets exchange market but we need to understand in this case what we need to understand we have many options for the investor the investor if he need to invest in the stock he can to invest in secondary market in stock markets if he need to invest in bonds he can to invest in bond market if he need to invest in currencies he can to invest on exchange uh, exchange markets now we have two options between call markets and continuous markets what are main differences between call markets and continuous markets 
in actual call markets trade for individual stock at specified time or in limited time while in continuous market you can to invest in this market in any time there is no private time or there is no specified time you can invest in any time also in the call market the market is not open 24 hours for that in continuous market you can trade in any time the market is open 24 hours while in call markets if you need to invest at specified time for that for that the investors when you need to invest we need to look main advantage for the market in actual the market need the liquidity the market needs the liquidity for that in, in secondary market there are many advantage to provide the investors liquidity so we have information now about primary market and secondary market let us to uh, explain second topic about efficient capital market that related with securities markets also in this topic we need to understand why should capital markets be efficient and what are main alternative efficient market hypothesis so we need to test and the results of the hypothesis and we need to understand main implication of efficient capital markets main question now are markets efficient main question are markets efficient to answer on this question we need to understand when we can to say if the market efficient or no if we have large number of competing profit maximized by many investors now any investors look for to maximize the profit for that if we have information if we have information in the market and that's mean the information are available for any investors then the investor will make his decision based on the information that's mean provide maximizing investors adjust security prices rapidly to reflect the effect of a new information then we have information that information will evict or will lift reflect on the investors then we can say this efficient market in this case the investor can to maximize his profit also we can say this market is efficient if we have new information regarding securities comes to markets in random version that's mean we need to focus on importance of information we need to focus on importance of information so in actual many studies focused on importance of information and how this information will evict on the investments for this we need to understand main hypothesis related with efficient market hypothesis we have three type random walk hypothesis where game model efficient market hypothesis so 
Now we need to understand what the meaning random walk hypothesis. In random walk hypothesis, the change in security occur randomly. The change in security price happen randomly without any role. Second one, their game model. In this hypothesis, current market reflect all a variable information. Current price reflects all a variable information about security and expected return and risk. In their game model, we have a variable information. This information will reflect or will effect on the current prices. That called as their game model. Third one, efficient market hypothesis. In, in the fact, we need to focus on third one, efficient market hypothesis. What are main type of efficient market hypothesis? Uh, we have three main hypotheses, weak form, semi-strong form, and strong form. In next class, we will explain three hypotheses and when we can say this market is efficient. So in this class, we explained what is the market what is the primary market, secondary market. When we can say this a good market, this is efficient market. And next lecture we will expand in efficient market hypothesis. Thank you for your attention and see you in next class. Thank you.